In today's video, I spend 100 days in modded drafts with Minecraft with 10 YouTubers. You might recognize them, but all I have to say is this video is insane. Listen, I know what you're thinking, but Josh, what's the twist here? What makes this video so special? Well, well, let me tell you, okay, besides the fact that there are 10 other YouTubers all using proximity chat, and besides the fact that there are insane dinos like these, and animals like these, and mods that make it so we can do this, and this, oh, besides all of that, and the fact that we combined 100 day style videos with SMP type lore, you know what, you just, just watch for yourself, okay? But we do have some goals for this video, we're gonna try to do our best to work together and build up a huge city and grow strong enough to tame our very own dinosaurs. And we also want to kill the ender dragon by the end of the 100 days, of course. But yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Hey, let's go, baby. Woo! Dinosaurs. Ooga. Ooga shaka. Ooga shaka. I'm in a tornado. Is that a brachiosaurus? What is happening? Oh, my God. Tell my mom I love her. I'm going down, boys. I'm going down. Subscribe. Listen, when you have a near-death experience like this, you're changed forever. Okay, well, was I happy to be alive? Of course. The problem is, now I have to fight to survive. And there's dinosaurs, man. I'm scared. What was that? No! As you can imagine, in a dangerously overridden dino-infested world, things get very intense fast, okay? This time period has no mercy when it comes to human life. And so we figured banding together would be our best bet ensuring the survival of the Uga Shockman. Yeah, yeah, that's who we are because, I mean, we're basically cavemen now. I mean, actually, we're literally cavemen. On day one, we all just grouped together in this cave we found and began setting up a small place for us to live. Well, well you know, we're all still at the bottom of the food chain here. Guys, I'm on two hearts. Oh, there's another one. Another one. Watch out. Watch out. I got you! I'm scared! Oh my oh god! Are you scared, bro? I guess you made me. Sody, what happened to Sody? Oh no, Sody just died. Everyone was dying left and right, man. But, but luckily, somehow, I managed to survive. And the next day, we tried to communicate with this pair of Stegosauruses. Oh, it likes me. Oh, what's this? It's a dodo? Yo, yo, yo. Oh, what the? That thing just almost two hit me. I want to know how to tame Stay away these. from it. Can I feed them a bone? Ooh. Whipping dinosaurs is the only way to tame them. Okay. You gotta make a whip. All right, there's T-Rexes over there. I'm, I'm gonna go back over here. Everything wanted to eat me. It was terrible. I needed to get some armor, and that's when Side showed up in the cave and helped us make some bone armor. It was sick. Hey. Kanye got nothing on my Jeez. new bones. Yeah, check out our bone boots. What's going on, y'all? Check, check out bone boots. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bone boots. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I have hey, bone hey. boots. I wanted revenge on that dodo for attacking me, and I mean, we had swords. We had at least one armor piece, and so we ganged together like mad caveman and went to go get revenge and hunt some dinos. You got numbers on it, though. I hate you, bird. I hate you, bird. Die! Stupid bird! I will eat you alive. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. I got H meat. Booga booga. Booga booga. Booga booga. Die, you stupid stego. You stupid stego. Die. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, I'm almost dead. Why is he mad at me? Chill. Oh, we got him. Oh, oh. Yo, we defeated. You see that? We defeated the Stego. Yeah, there's two T Rexes there's over there. I'm not sure we're ready for that. Oh, my gosh. No, we're not ready for that. Ready for that. What is Beck Bro doing? Oh, yeah, you can ride zebra. <laughs> Atom, get off me, zebra. It's not a zebra, guys. It's a quad. Oh, quad, 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 quad. Oh, T Rex is like, you want to yeah, but, you know, what you hear? I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. You want to sneak? All right, we got to stalk him. We gotta stalk them, but we should chop heads out and eat them. Okay, okay. I don't think this is a good idea. Oh! No! 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 Alright, okay, that's enough toying with death. I do actually want to survive this entire series without dying, because that would be cool, and it seems like it's gonna be pretty hard, you know, considering everyone's just, just dropping left and right. Wait, do we have enough beds for everybody? Oh yeah, we got a lot of beds. Hey, Who wants to sleep go. next to me? <laughs> oh, I, uh, hey, hey boys. <laughs> oh my god, what is poking me right now? Yo, yo, sus mode activated. 
Chill. Listen, I know that sounds sus, and it was. It was. It was definitely sus. Hey, no. oh, we all slept together. Let's go. <laughs> we woke up to a storm brewing. As I'm sure you guys could tell, this is tornado country. But you know what? We were feeling brave, and we were also really hungry cavemen. So we went out hunting in the storm, anyways. I think it's a bronchiosaurus or something. Yo, I don't really know. Wait. Oh, there's mooses. <gasps> Kill oh, there's bees. Oh, yo. Booga booga, booga booga, chop it up. Yes. Even drop food. I got antlers. Die. Okay, here here things go sideways quick. Both Beck Bro Adam and Coffee Fuel Genius died to a Pachycephalosaurus, and the storm was picking this? up. It's a koala bear. Oh my god, it's a little bit. Why? No, don't kill it, don't Why? Kill it. Why? What? What? Why would what? you kill that? Dude, bear. they're There's literally like the dumbest animals bear. on earth. Google it. Dude, they're, they're stink, stink now because of you. <laughs> well, like I the mean, only one. it was dark and all oh, this storm, it, it was going crazy. So we took refuge in this cave and cooked up some food. And as we were heading back to the cave to regroup, uh, I, I fell off a cliff, all right? Oh! I built back up though, and then uh, I saw Coffee, and, and he accidentally fell off the cliff too. That's what a coincidence. Yo. Coffee Dude, I and I were making the journey here. back home, and man, with the player animations, you got the sound, the biomes, and just everything. This was so cool. I think this was like the best Minecraft experience I'd, I'd ever had. Until, uh. Yeah, we were hit by a tornado. It completely devastated the area. Blew away all the leaves off the trees, and the grass was gone. Everything was just a mess. But luckily, you know, everyone was safe, and that's all that really matters. Except that. Except we weren't safe. Yeah, another tornado was coming. And you know what they say about second tornadoes, all right? This was not looking good, and it, it was heading right for the cave. Who's that? And that's when we found another survivor. JPEX. Yeah, apparently he crashed from the last tornado, and he survived. Thank God. How'd you survive? Wait. <laughs> ah, no! No! Yeah, Sody and I got sucked away by the tornado. Now I was trying not to panic, but this was my first time, you know, ever getting taken away by a tornado, all right? Yeah, I wasn't prepared. The wind was so strong, and it blew me for miles and miles all night. But I kept fighting, and eventually, I made it back to the cave. <laughs> ah, oh, 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 my God. Dude. <laughs> You will not believe what just happened. How are you alive right now? I it's don't a long story. It's a long story. I just, I just want to go sleep, man. Oh. The weather still hadn't calmed down, and I, I needed resources. So Switch and I went mining, and we found a lot of interesting ores. <gasps> Dang it! What are the odds? Watch out for that lava. Look at this, Josh. What is this? Permafrost. Oh. Fossils and archaeology oh. revival. Oh, here's redstone. Oh, bro, look at this. There's steam. Whoa. It's sick. The Earth's core is warming up. A couple days later, we make it back to the surface, and you wouldn't believe it. It must have been like tornado season or something. But luckily, Krizik came in clutch, and he managed to make a weather device that stops the storms. Finally, we could get some peace. We were outgrowing the caves, as you can imagine. It, it was getting crammed with, you know, 10 cave dudes all, all in there at once. But, uh, so yeah, we moved up north, where we began constructing what would later become Ooga Shaka Kingdom! <gasps> what the heck? <laughs> I did not expect to see that. <laughs> I did not expect to see this. <laughs> what the heck, bro? Awesome. How'd you get up there, bro? Stop whipping, eh? Siren had managed to tame one of the largest dinosaurs in the game, and Coffee Field Genius and I, you know, were a bit jealous. We needed to get dinosaurs of our own. Plus, whipping a dinosaur, you know, oh, come on, that sounds fun, right? So, uh, we, we began our journey to tame our first dinosaur. Oh, there it is. Good. You want to go for it? I don't mind, bro. Go for it, go for it. Let's see if this works. <gasps> Yo, over there, be careful. There's birds. Wait, can There's you tame bird. the birds? I'm going to go try the, try the bird. Whoa. What? <laughs> no, Coffee. No, oh gosh. No! No, he got me too. Yeah, just a little tip. Try not to let the Brachiosaurus step on your head. It, it probably won't end well. And uh, you, you think I would have learned, but uh, no, he, he got me again. So I just decided to try and go for a dino with uh, a little smaller feet. Yee oh, let's go. We finally had our own dinos. It was awesome. So we headed back, and I ran into Switch. And look, he tamed a Triceratops. Yo, sweet. 
stage, dude. That was he's sick. sick. He's so tanky. He has three rows of hearts. But yeah, anyways, it was time to get back to building Uga Shaka Kingdom. And of course, you know, a kingdom has to start somewhere. And we, we were still not so advanced. So we set up some small shacks and began planning for a huge wall to protect everyone inside from all those terrifying dinosaurs that just seem to love to eat us. All right. But yeah, we were going to need a lot of cobblestone in order to construct the wall. So I worked up a system using a cobblestone generator that auto melts the cobblestone into stone. And man, this wall ended up being a huge project. You'd think as a group, we'd be able to, you know, get a lot of work done. Well, well yeah, sort of. But JPEG started going crazy, was trying to just kill Cyrid. And that's when all the drama began. You know that worm that makes you crazy? I'm pretty sure they got it. We decided it was time to venture into the nether, and you won't believe what we found. You, you'll get that joke in a second. I'm sorry in advance. It looks like a I giant beehive. I think there's a chest in the middle of it. Guys, I, I hear something buzzing. There's a spawner and wasp in here, boys. We have to get to the spawner. Oh, we're get to oh. I sacrificed it. Break the spawner. Uh-oh. Wait, how do I get out? How do I get out? Ah. Uh-oh, I'm in here, boys. Help me. I'm in the water. I think we're all in trouble here. I'm here. Oh, no! There's honeycomb. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I almost died. It's a good thing I'm not allergic. I just did not want to die yet. I wasn't ready for the nether, so I headed back. And the next day, I figured out you can make these hooks, which are game changer, especially when you upgrade them. I was trying to show everyone how to use the hooks, and just as I was taking in this insane view from the tree... So cool. It worked. Oh. Switch! No! So Remember when I mentioned in the beginning that there would be lore? Yeah, well, this is when things get interesting. I managed to sneak up on Cyrid and a couple of others in a group meeting. What's this? Wait, wait. Josh is here. He's in the wall. He's in it. He's like in between it. Hey. What are you guys talking about? Oh, what? Some real suspicious stuff. You heard nothing. <laughs> He's going to pay for that. He is going to pay so big. He doesn't know what he just did. Cyrid, mark my words, buddy. You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay big time. I couldn't believe it. He, he just murdered me without any hesitation. You know, there's this quote my great-great-grandpa William used to say. Vengeance is in my heart. Death is in my hand. And blood and revenge are hammering in my head. Cyrid not only took my life that day, but he changed me forever. He, he turned me into a stone-cold monster who could only focus on one thing. One ultimate goal of revenge. Well, the fact that you just killed me, Sarah, I want you to know something. What's up? You're not safe, buddy. Yeah? Who's Whoa. the one that just got oh, one oh, shot? Yeah, yeah, Who okay, is that? I'll give you that. I'll Who give is you that? that? But just, just, That's what I thought. Just the future, in the future timeline, something, you might, something might happen. I'll let you know that. Yeah, there's no future to me. I don't mess around. Get him, JPEX. Get him. JPEX, you got him. JPEX managed to take out Cyrid and steal his weapon. And so I seized the opportunity and I stole some wub, all right? Because it can be used to craft some deadly weapons. And then I waited for a bit to let Cyrid cool down. And then I went to go win his trust back. And surprisingly, though, he, he wanted to apologize to me. Hey. Yo, what's up, Cyrid? First of all, I'm sorry for killing you. I didn't realize you were on our side. It seemed like you were just snooping and getting info. If you don't accept my apology, I understand. You know what, Sarah, I accept your apology. Just because after everything we've been through, I have faith. It was just all a misunderstanding. I appreciate Aww. that. However, Hug it out, guys. the Hug enemy it out. of the state, JPEX, JPEX. Yes. I think he needs to be banished. JPEX was now deemed an enemy of the state, and we finished the walls, by the way, so that meant positions of power were open. And I plan to establish myself as Uga Shakman, chief of security. So I took JPEX and I banished him in front of everyone. All right, JPEX, you're banished forever. I'm sorry, bro. Get out of here. You're banished forever. No way. Get out. You're ugly and what? you don't deserve to be in here. After this after everything. I'd say it, you're worthless. Get out. <gasps> oh. Weirdo. Right. <laughs> Sorry, do the bleep thing. Bleep him out. You JPEG. <laughs> you get You guys just exile. Out. Yeah. That's right. You better keep in running. <laughs> I was getting ready to build my house, but first I needed to get even more resources. So Switch and I set out once again to go mining. And after we mined this ravine, we ended up just vein mining near Bedrock. And yo, this is 100% the best way to go. I kid you not, we got tons of resources and it was awesome. By the time we got back, Coffee had called the town meeting and JPEX was there. And Cyrid and I were not having that. He's a murderer. Listen to you me. You're a thief. You're a thief. Hold me back. Hold me back. Hold me back. 
Get out of here, JPEGs. I gotta run. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. You stay there forever. Okay. Well, uh, thanks. What were you saying? Does anyone have So I'm out. Just doing my thing, right? Because I try and speak to Sirid, and he's in a secret meeting. I go and speak to- I can't even remember who it was, but they're in a secret meeting. So I go off, and I get myself some obsidian armor, and I'm feeling pretty chuffed with myself. I come back, and half the wall is destroyed. Nobody's here. JPEX is running everywhere, and he's banished. Somebody, please, tell me, what is going on? Wait, I just zoned uh... out. Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you just make a crafting table right here? Listen, yeah, that's a crafting table. I, yeah, that's a crafting table. <laughs> All you need to know is that not everyone is who they say they are. It was time to begin building my base. And like I said, I wanted it to be chief of security. And so I decided to build a weapons and explosive shop. So I began building out of brick and hardest stone because, yo, this place needed to be bulletproof in case of any robberies or something, you know? Sarah. Oh gosh! Ah, it's coming for me! Ah, ah, no, please! Please! Ah, ah, ah. I needed meat and hide, and I also needed an excuse to use my new hunting rifle that I crafted, so I went out to go see what I could find. Yeah, I was on the hunt! Oh, these are dodos! Now they're just bones and meat. I hope they had a good life. My favorite animal! Can we shoot it from here? <gasps> oh, we hit it! Let's go! <gasps> oh, again! It's gotta be like one shot. There it is! Oh, quick scope! Oh, let's go! We just quick scoped an elephant in Minecraft! <laughs> oh, it's got tusks! <gasps> Zebras! It'd be a shame if you found the lava. Zebra fur? Yes! Oh, it gives you so much leather. We're hunting zebras, baby. Let's go. Didn't even stand a chance. Oh, I hit that! Oh my gosh, it's King Julian. Hello, buddy. Hello, hello. I was finally able to make a hang glider, oh, and oh glider. my, these things are awesome. What is happening? What is I'm happening? Fine. How? <laughs> what is happening? It's a glider, but for some reason, it doesn't show the model. Dude, that is... Insane. What? You should make one because it'll help you in the nether. Oh. Wait, I see yours. I see yours. Oh, you do? Yeah. Whoa. Dude, that's epic. I had Siren point me in the direction of the nearest nether fortress, and since I had a glider, now my, my new mission was to place a waystone at a nether fortress, so we could easily travel back and forth, but for some reason, I didn't find a single nether fortress for about 5,000 blocks, but once I did, oh, I began trick-shotting blazes. This was probably, like, the coolest thing I had ever done in Minecraft, and everything was going great until... <gasps> no! Yeah! yeah, look at this. Replaying the footage, I have absolutely no idea what or how that happened. But GG, I lost everything. I just lost 40 levels. Ah! Kid you not, 30, 40 blocks. Launch me. Jeez. Wow. Well, I made something really cool. You want to see? No, it's, it's that. <laughs> look how cool it is, man. Yeah. A uh, shower? Anyone want to come join? Uh -oh. um, <laughs> three guys in the shower, nothing sus about that. I'm a Uga Shockman though, and we don't give up. With the help of the others, I managed to gear back up in no time, and now I had an upgraded hook. Cheers for the armor. Thanks, mate. All right, thanks for the help. Appreciate it, guys. I'm gonna go get some blazes. All I'm right. getting enough for the uh, the end portal as well. Coffee Field Genius needed to find a Nether Fortress, and I had lost all my blaze rods I had gotten, so I headed back into the Nether for what ended up being one epic journey. Oh no! Sight. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> I'm like Tarzan. Uh, ah! Oh shoot. Phase Minecraft. Yo, there it is. Oh, there it is. We eventually found the nether fortress, but it was across this huge lava lake. And that's when I had the idea to scale the roof with our grappling hooks. And yeah, this was insane. So whatever you do, don't fall in the lava. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're doing it. Yo. Whatever you do, don't look down. Yeah, I try not to look down. This was, uh, it was pretty sketch, but we slowly and carefully managed to inch our way forwards. And eventually we made it to the fortress. Oh, I'm building, I'm building. 
You're dead. Bro, that was insane. That was, that was so like, good. That was like the coolest thing ever. We got a bunch of blaze rods and then made our way back. And I was having so much fun. I really hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I promise so. Things are just getting started, all right? So get ready. Also, yo, now's a good time to hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And maybe comment something like, yo, that nether fortress was insane. Or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, we made it back to the overworld. And that's when I began Operation Sus. Here's the diamond. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I bribed Adrian's so I could place a security camera in his tree. The, the first camera of many. So that way I could watch over the town and make sure nothing sus was going on, you know? I'm in the tree. No way. Spying on people. Works. Yeah. Wait, so you're on JPEG's side, aren't you? But you're undercover with them? No. No? Are you? That's what he told me. I'm on I'm on JPEG's side. Oh, yeah. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Oh, JPEX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Don't switch up, all right? I won't, okay. dog. Chill, okay. bro. Okay, okay. Chill. I'm just making chill, sure. dog. All right, all right. Because you're all looking... Right. You know, you've been hanging out with them a lot lately. Make sure, I won't. okay? I won't, all right? But don't okay. hit me, all right? I noticed Cyrid had an underground basement with Krizik, and so uh, I snuck into the base, and then right when Krizik was distracted, I placed the camera right above them. It was it was perfect. They had no idea. Don't tell anyone about this. Shh. You can keep it. You can keep it. I got more. Nice. I got more. All right, bet. Thanks. Whoa. Yeah, use it wisely. Yeehaw. 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 Sodi had been putting in work as well. He had been grinding on some animal farms, and it was pretty sick. He planned to make a meat shop, but then uh, someone's tame Brachiosaurus went AWOL and started trying to kill us and was breaking everything. It was not good. And he just killed my dinosaur. <laughs> That's it. Uh-oh. 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 Got him. Hopefully no one gets mad about that. Nah, he killed my dinosaur. Fair game. True. After that uh, incident, I was spying on Cyrid, and that's when I found out him and Krizik were getting stronger, and apparently they managed to make some of the best armor in the game. Oh my god, it's happening! I'm so excited! What the I heck? know, this is gonna be big. Oh my god. They're talking about that they have armor now that they can kill us all with. Oh. What's up, boys? What's, What's up, boys? Up? Come all on, right. everyone's here. Okay, fine. Yeah, boy. What? It's, it's magma armor. Some scary stuff. Weird. It's like the best armor in the game. It's ugly though. You look oh. like someone put Tabatee up their nose uh, and then sneezed. Uh, so, uh, chew. <laughs> oh, look what just came out. Oh my god. Switch had made some good progress on his greenhouse, so we uh we went over to go check it out. Dude, this looks sick. Everybody eats, man. Everybody eats, man. Yeah, if you need food, just come. You in. uh remember when I said I was going to get revenge on Cyrid? Yeah, it was time for that. I knew killing him uh, just wasn't going to be enough, though. So uh, <laughs> I took it even further, and uh, well, I killed someone he loved. Oh, but you, you got a baby? Oh. Did you hatch oh, this? We, we do have a baby. Yeah. We better step on them spikes. Dude! Oh, I'm sorry, Cyrid. Oh, oh, no. Listen, I know that was brutal, but listen, Cyrid turned me into this monster, all right? I don't have any emotions now. I barely escaped by hopping into the security camera, and it's a good thing I did because Cyrid was not happy. Yeah, just listen. He just killed our baby. I think he, he needs to die. Walk in here and do something like that. I think he needs to die. I could have killed him there, but I spared him. Oh man, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. He's gonna come after me. He was definitely going to be plotting revenge, but I was going to be ready. And Krizik helped me upgrade my hook all the way to an Ender one. And check out how awesome this is. <gasps> what? I could go that far? What? What is that? It's the upgraded diamond hook. Past the diamond hook. That's nutty. But yeah, like I said, Cyrid definitely wanted me dead. And you know, I kind of felt bad for what I did j just a little bit. So I made a golden lasso and I went and got an orca and I made Cyrid his own personal aquarium. There you go, Cyrid. <laughs> it's a whale. Is, I, I was not going to forgive you, but that is pretty cool. That's cool, admit. right? That is pretty cool. I really yeah. didn't mean to kill him, I swear. Okay. Please forgive me. All right, I forgive you. That's a pretty <laughs> oh, cool gift. Except his tail gets in our way, but that's fine. That's oh. a cute tail. I still hadn't finished my shop yet. The materials I was building it out of were expensive, all right? But I spent the next couple of days grinding on it. And look, it was coming together, all right? Not too bad. Not too bad, eh? The next couple of days, I worked on phase two of Operation Sus. I was building a watchtower. That way, I would be able to see over the entire city. And man, it was growing. Uh, take a look at this. Hello? Hello. I heard there was an emergency meeting. Sard walks into my shop and uh, he says that there was an emergency meeting. Wait, what kind of emergency meeting? I have no idea. Maybe you weren't invited. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Apparently it was being held in Adrian's treehouse, and it was a good thing because I placed the camera there, so I was able to listen. Excuse me? What? What do you mean, what? You know he's banished, and he's not allowed here. You uh, don't talk to this man! Oh, look, take what this ring. I just him? needed that one more thing. What are you what, giving what? him? Come on. Why are you being scratched? Yeah, 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 Dude, I don't... JPEX was banished. He wasn't supposed to be in these walls. So I pulled out my sniper and I began taking shots. Pop, pop, pop. You gotta die, JPEX. You can't be here. Siren ended up getting the last hit and killed JPEX. And just when I thought things were finally gonna go back to normal, I caught Siren and Krizik showing Coffee Field Genius my hidden camera. I didn't even know they knew about it. Do you have any coffee? Do you think, do you think it's Josh? Because I, I came on, and I think it's weird that there's just this random watchtower that nobody can get into. It's not just that. Come here. Follow me, follow me. Look up into the ceiling. <gasps> oh! All right, stop looking. Stop looking. I'm always ah! watching. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God. What are you guys doing? I heard you talking about me. I heard everything. You guys are so guilty. I'm no, 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 no. No! It almost killed me. I barely escaped using the ender hook. And since I had such low HP, like half a heart, I had no choice but to stay in the security cameras since they couldn't hit me that way. And so, you know, I had some fun. Where did he go? I'm everywhere. Whoa! Oh, see, see what I mean? How did I do that? This is so phenomenal. I'm here too, buddy. I'm in your heads! I barely survived that. Half a heart! Half a heart! Oh my gosh, that is insane. Well, now we know that they're all up to something and I can literally trust no one. Not even coffee! Okay, here's when things get really interesting. Now, I could narrate it all for you, or I could just, you know, let you watch it all unfold for yourself. So, you know, enjoy. All I know is Josh is spying on all of us, and JPEX is, is colluding no, no, with somebody. No, 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 no. I don't I, know who. Listen, as, as a part of the weapon shop owner, I, I have to do security, man. And this is for the betterment of you guys. And I have found out some very interesting things about yeah. all of you like what first of all you think you guys can even trust each other you can't you can't you can't trust coffee what? you can't trust krizik you can't trust switch don't even get yo, me started yo, on wait, jpex what? yo okay i believe the jpex thing uh, I'm, I'm gonna vouch for that but siren yes wait, wait, you're all guilty you're what all guilty mean? there's Listen. nothing sus about me Listen, all I'm gonna say here is there's a true enemy amongst us, and they're trying to get us to turn amongst ourselves. We can't let this happen. You wouldn't even suspect them. It's literally the Don't person you least thing. expect. Do not oh. say a thing or I'm pulling the trigger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Quick scope. Ah! Oh my gosh, he killed Switch. No. No, Switch. For me, for me, guys, the one favor I ask. We've got to kill him once, please. Oh, we're gonna oh I'm kill down. Him. Who is it, Josh? Me, let me tell me you. Let me tell you. you. Okay, think of the person who you least expect to be a traitor. Sody popping. No, it's actually no. not Sody. Good okay. guess, though. It's freaking <laughs> Adrian's, man. What? I trusted him. Listen, I need proof. proof of this. I need proof of this. I, I have proof. Just, I can show you the footage. Hey, I'm on I'm on JPEX's side. Don't switch up, all right? Yo, he's back. Oh, hey, get out of here. You're not welcome. You're not welcome. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Go. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! We avenge teach him. Thank you guys. After we avenged Switch by killing JPEX, everybody decided things need to change, right? Things were getting chaotic, and you know, the walls were put up, the shops were built, we were becoming more and more refined as humans. It felt like we were becoming Uga Shaka gentlemen. So we decided to elect Syrid as mayor of Uga Shaka Kingdom. Hey, you Who's shooting? What's going on? On this journey to the end. To Don't the worry. end. There's something I need to say. What? You guys like are explaining what? to do JPEX. What? Yeah, 10 I'm, seconds. I'm I'm sorry for everything. I've caused this violence. I brought don't Adrian's didn't do anything. I brought him into this. Same as coffee. What are we supposed What's to do? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Hey, I feel bad now. Maybe bad we should let him in. I'm not asking for anything. I'm not asking for anyone to like me. I just I can't survive out here anymore. I can't uh. I built an entire village for revenge and I I, I, I Did you learn your lesson? I, I think I have. I think revenge, it's not the way. It Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to allow you back into the Uga Shaka Kingdom. However, Uga. you will be on very, very strict terms. Any <laughs> suspicious activity, and I mean anything, and you will be brutally murdered. 
That's perfect. Just, I just couldn't know. ask for anything more. I'm I'm watching you always, so that you is better true. be careful. Josh is watching everyone. Your first order Ooh, of business is you got to deliver each of us 10 iron. Yeah, so we decided to let JPEGs back in, but on some very specific terms. And then later on, everything seemed to calm down. And then just as Coffee was about to give me some very important information, it seemed like the Sirene and Krizik came back. I keep an eye on Sirene because after everything with JPEGs, I don't know, I could just... Uh, you guys can come down here. We're not doing anything sus. I'm just trying to enchant. Uh, what was he about to say? I don't know, but Cyrid actually had an advanced enchantment table, and he even helped me enchant my web paxel, which was pretty nice of him, actually. I actually made this with his web, so so thanks, Cyrid. Cyrid mentioned if you kill dinosaurs, apparently you get a lot of XP, like, like a lot. And man, was he right. I went out, and I killed a bunch of dinos, and it wasn't easy, but it was definitely worth it. I was able to enchant a web sword as well, and yeah, uh, we were balling. It was awesome. Since Cyrid was kind enough to help me, I was in a giving mood, so I, uh, I made some binoculars, and I handed them out to everyone. I got a gift for you yo what do you got check Let's it out see. binoculars Bro. thanks coffee field genius in the flesh <laughs> that's so cool hey yo your package is here amazon you just uh, sign here <laughs> sure amazon front thank you binoculars nice yes, sir turn around not bad they yes, work sir. Good. Good. Good Good living, dick. man. Nothing's broken, man. Thank you, thank you. This You're is welcome. so cool. By the way, I can schematica these trees in. Swage wanted to make a treehouse next to Adrian's, and I, I saw that he was trying to build the tree, so I decided to help him copy Adrian's by getting this mod installed called Schematica. Now, I haven't actually used this in a couple of years, but check this out. It seemed to work pretty good. I'm a master builder. This is why the girls love me. Mm -hmm. Got yeah, fast this built in. Yep. You know what they say about those hands, man. That'll help a lot, actually. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. Peace. Good luck. After I finished helping Swidge, Cyrid and I pulled up to Coffee's Coffee Shop. And, uh, yeah, he had just opened up for business, and we were his first customers. Want a cup of coffee? Oh, yeah, sure. I'd love some. What, uh, what coffee would you like? I would like the kind that makes me a genius. No, me too, right. me too. Leave it with me. Let me, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna put my beans in the grinder like this. Oh! I'll provide entertainment while we wait. <laughs> So I I'm just gonna tap the Oh Okay, so now I'm gonna place this here. <gasps> Look at that! Right. Let's go! Oh. Okay, so uh ego sir, I'll just uh, drop that off to you. It's very tasty. Uh oh. I'm so happy. Whoa, he's going so fast! <laughs> oh uh, I'm kinda I don't know if I should try this coffee as they Enjoy. say in the country next to mine. Delicioso. Alright. Oh my <laughs> Yo, I am off the walls right now, yeah, man. I told you, it's the best. It's the best. It's got me going. I feel like I can build an entire castle right now, man. Yo, <laughs> dude, I think I plan on sleeping tonight, bro. That coffee hit me really good. So uh, I made an outhouse, plus, you know, I was tired of having to dig a hole. Anyways, anyways, my weapon shop was almost done. It just needed one more thing. It needed an alarm system. And there was this mod installed called Security Craft, which had alarms. And it worked perfectly. And then I found out that Sodi's huge meat shop was just the front. Yeah, what you uh, what you looking for? Ah, uh, the good stuff. I'll be right back. I keep this stuff in the back. Dude, keep it down, Sodi. If you're gonna do your drug dealing, I don't want to hear. All right, I'm not trying to be a part of this. Listen, hey, be a good right. neighbor. All right, be a good hey, neighbor. Hey, buddy. Listen, you know, maybe we can do some work together. Huh? I agree. I agree. Cops don't Listen. expect. I'm just a little meat shop. I mean, a little huge meat shop, eh? Oh yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah, maybe we could do some business. All right. We'll see. All right. We'll see. Sounds good. Sounds all right. Good. Just uh, keep it down. All right. Right after I was done talking to Sodi, I I noticed that there was this block missing, Watch. and then that's when I found. Found this. What? Guys, get in here. What happened? Look what I just found in my my shop. Look behind you. It. What? Oh wait, what? We're watching you. Yeah. What? Yo, wait. What the? Oh, why me, man? What did I ever do? What that the is heck creepy, is dude. What? After seeing that sign, clearly this shop needs, you know, an upgrade on security. So I designed this whole intricate lockdown system that I could trigger in case any sort of robbery. But apparently, I'm my own worst enemy because then I literally almost lose everything in lava once again. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. I finally yeah, finished setting up the gates. All right, we got you. <laughs> That's so cool. That Honestly, Since I had realized coffee also was up to something, I decided to place a trap down so he'd get caught in it. And then, you know, I could come swoop in and save him and gain his trust. Now we just got to wait. Oh. 
Yo, oh, what's man. up? Bro, oh, you, no, let me save you. Can you help me out? I got you. What? Who put that there, bro? Dude, that is crazy. Someone's among us. You literally can't I'm trust scared. anybody here. What? You can't, dude. You can't. But I got you. I mean, I saved you. Why would I save you? Thank you. you. Trust yeah, me, bro. true. That's got to be soon. I think it was. You're right. Well, it seemed to have worked. And uh, then Coffee and I took a moment to reflect on how far we've come since day one. Man. Look at this. It's crazy. This is a beautiful town, dude. Sheesh. Like, it's so sick. Yeah, well, sadly, the euphoria didn't last too long. I, I had received some intel that things were about to go down. Now, I didn't know where or when or how or why, but I knew one thing. In order to officially take the position as the chief of security of Uga Shaka Kingdom, I needed an escape-proof location to threat to take anyone who puts our newly developing society at risk. It was all part of my plan to control the people by f uh, I mean, it was- this was just- it, this was for the betterment of the people. So uh, yeah, I made this super escape-proof gel cell behind my shop and uh, I used reinforced blocks and doors that could only be opened with my two eyes. That's right retinal scanner doors sick right but i'm telling you hopefully i don't have to use this place but yep. if need be no one is getting out of here josh uh i wanted to i wanted to apologize and give you Some yo cake? look at this it's a party pickaxe if you right click on the floor with it you get cake or whoa cool isn't that amazing you know i had to line the mood up a bit so i joined krizik in using party pickaxes to fill adrian's treehouse with cake <laughs> you know just a lighthearted prank nothing too crazy Get cake, my boy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to know what hit him. I got back to business, though, and I mean real business. I had a plan to jumpstart Uga Shaka Kingdom's economy. This is what I was going to do. I was going to offer the mayor, Syra, 20 diamond blocks in order to declare the kingdom in a state of martial law so that everyone would have to turn their weapons into me and then they could only purchase weapons from my shop. And so I made a sign telling Syra to meet me alone later that night so we could talk about the deal. And I'll admit it, I was a bit nervous he'd get upset at me for trying to bribe him. But listen, 20 diamond blocks is a lot. And I was hoping he wouldn't be able to resist so many diamonds. Before we had a chance to meet, though, we all got pulled into this deep dark beneath the mansion. And, and then we tried to explore. It, but it did right, not go the up. Bottom. There's the bottom. All right, you guys get with your hooks. You got this? Oh, oh we got one torch. No. Ah. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Hey. Where are we? That was no. This is insane. Oh my gosh. Dude. I was literally getting consumed by the darkness, man. I'm pretty sure there's tons of ores here if we, if we dig down. I'm not sure, though. Go look. Ours. Wait. I have a we forgot. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sent him to a Cyrus, you oh, killed a man. Right. Oh, Cyrus. <laughs> You're gonna regret that, buddy. No way he just did that. I could not believe it. Before I even tried to get my stuff back, I went and placed the mine right at the entrance of Cyrus' base, but yeah, he, he overheard me. It'd be a shame if you blew up, buddy. What's that? Josh, the waystones work. We can use oh, the waystones. Yeah, I'm gonna there. go make some warp scrolls for <laughs> us. I said it would be a shame if someone. <laughs> I ran away and waited for the perfect moment to strike back. This was it. Cyrid was going to die. <laughs> and stay down. <laughs> oh my god. We couldn't even finish his set. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's just so satisfying. Bro, I don't know what was in coffee's coffee, but woo. All right, Cyrid, we're even now, all right? No. I hereby Hold sentence on. you. Josh M V, <gasps> guilty of murder. No, oh, no. On the town mayor, you <gasps> shall be banned. No, from these lands. <gasps> or we can do a trial by combat where we one v one, and winner is mayor for good. Okay. <gasps> What's the terms you, for the fight? Anything goes. Ooh. All right. Tomorrow at sundown. Let's settle this like men. Not that. I'll see Not you then. The you better train, buddy. Oh, sorry. Gear up. <laughs> And I expect your best. Oh, you you receive it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agreed to fight Cyrus. This was my chance to finally take control of the kingdom. Now that I was already fully in control of all the security measures, if I somehow managed to win the fight and become mayor, I would have all of the power in the kingdom. Cyrus was still mayor though, and the fight still wasn't for a couple more days. And remember when I said we needed to bribe Cyrus to, you know, have him put us in the state of martial law? Yeah, well, I wanted to do that while Cyrus was still in charge. That way he could be the one, you know, who looked like a tyrant and not me. So uh, I met up with him later. Later that night. Hello. Oh, oh, finally, where you been? Sorry, bro. I've been uh preparing. 
Put your shield away. What's going on? I don't trust you. No, I got nothing on. I got nothing on. I got nothing on. I'm weak. You murdered me in cold blood. Listen, Cyrid. All right, we're even. There's there's a larger plan going on, all right? You'll understand soon. Okay. Hear me My out. armor's off. All right, let's have a seat so, no, so no one's suspicious, all right? All right, what's going on? Okay. All right, man. So here's the deal. All right, here. Just just read this, all right? Contract. I, Josh MV, will trade Cyrid for 20 diamond blocks, and in turn, he must declare Uga Shaka Kingdom in a state of national emergency, meaning martial law goes into effect. Every citizen must give up weapons to Josh and V. Listen, listen, before you say anything, I want you to take I want you to take a look in here. Alright? Alright, the code is 2021. Come uh. on, bro. Come on. Just for at least like 10 days, alright? Hear me out, hear me out. It's gonna generate some extra income because I'm gonna have everyone come back to me to buy weapons, alright? It's gonna make the city pop in a lot more, alright? And then everyone's gonna look at you and be like, oh, he's the mayor. Give him credit. You can take all the credit. I will say, these diamonds are very appealing. <sighs> and I'm down to put the state in martial law. Yes. Yes. However, this does not excuse you from murdering me in cold blood. So well, be it. In that case, then, we still battle tomorrow, then. We still battle tomorrow. I knew he couldn't resist that many diamonds. I mean, who would? He, he accepted the deal, and listen, since Cyrid and I have evolved to Uga Shaka, gentlemen, we, we keep our word, all right? So we still planned on fighting. And luckily, Sodi had been cooking up something special in the basement that, let's just say, it was going to give me a huge advantage over Cyrid. <laughs> This was it. I sounded the alarm and Cyrid held a community meeting where I showed everyone the newly signed decree. Uga Shaka Kingdom was now declared in a state of emergency. And martial law was now in place. Everyone had until sunset to stop by my shop and turn in their weapons. And if not, well, they'd be considered an enemy of the kingdom and banished. Hey, Josh, I just came to, uh, hand in my weapons, you know, because of the martial law. All right, sweet. Yeah, right over here. Alright, cool. Throw it in. There you go, bro. Yeah, man, I swear, this is all just for your safety, you know? We, we, we want the best for the people. I understand, I understand. It's for the betterment of Uga Shaka Kingdom. Exactly. Cool. I only have one, so that's all I got for you, but... So, you wanna go first or should I? Just toss her in. Oh, Adrian's! Yep. What the? <laughs> this is Susan. That's Dodge. That's Doug. That's Bob. That's Sal. When you win, can I have my knife back? Just one knife. You got knife, something please. to offer? Just one knife. You get something just back. Just one knife. No, Switch. One knife. No, it's for the betterment of our city. Switch just would not stop begging me to give him a weapon. I knew something was up. And that's when this happens. The ultimate betrayal of all time. There you Everybody go. Everybody down. That's... Oh. Well, Everybody down. Oh my gosh. This is a robbery. Switch, Adrian, you can get behind me. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Uh, listen, I don't want any trouble. Josh, hand me everything you got. <laughs> I robbery! Whoa. We're being robbed! Don't move! Don't you? move! Okay. All right, coffee. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, bro? Yo, why would you do this? I just, I just didn't want to. I didn't like the law and and all the work and you oh, made no, me just no, no. give it back and now. But you can't be doing that. You gotta obey the law, coffee. Good thing I installed that security system. I caught him red-handed, and I did not expect coffee to do something like this. But he gave me no choice but to bring him to the back room and lock him up. Hold on, before you go in, I want you to empty all your stuff in this chest. Everything. Everything? Everything. Don't try and do anything funny, because you literally cannot break these blocks. You're yeah, trapped. Alright, everything. Your armor, too. Oh, oh yeah, my bad. Okay, it's in the bottom chest. Alright, get in. Oh, no. You get a couple schmeat and that's it, alright? <laughs> Fine. I guess I deserve it. And I want to say one thing, man. Yeah. I thought we were friends, and I am disappointed. No! Since Cyrid was still the mayor, he decided coffee's punishment. I don't know. Maybe you had too much coffee. It could, it could be the coffee. It, What's going on, dude? I was just, I was just thinking of the betterment of everybody, and I just didn't agree with us having to hand all of the things we've worked so hard for. So instead of coming to us like a man and addressing the situation and your troubles, you decided to try to rob him at gunpoint. Well, yeah, I kind of low key wanted to feel like a cowboy too. So coffee, you will be sentenced to ten days in prison. That is one tenth of your life, and after you are released. Least, you will have to do one lap around the Uga Shaka kingdom naked as we all laugh at you in dismay. Why would you do this? You started it. All right, so yeah, good luck, buddy. Hope you don't rot and die. Man, when a friend betrays you like that, it sure does just like, I don't know, take a toll on your soul. I, I needed a change of scenery, so I went to go murder some other forms of life. <gasps> oh, we got it. Oh, this isn't good. We just set a forest on fire. 
We... I'm just gonna... Should I go? Should I run? I should probably run. I was finally feeling a bit better, so I headed back, and then I caught coffee escaping. Is that coffee? Yo, coffee, what are you doing, bro? Hey, no, stay out. How'd you escape? Since you escaped jail, you're banned forever now, man. I'm you're banned. banished. You're banished, bro. You, I can't believe you, man. You changed. You changed. Josh, I... But, but Josh, what a, who's gonna make the coffee? Oh, you're right. I'm an essential part of this. He somehow managed to talk me into letting him back in. You know, he, he might have bribed me for a free espresso on Mondays, but I mean, how could I say no to that? Anyways, I, I made him promise he'd never do anything like that again, and he seemed sincere, so I believed him. You're probably wondering, though, how, how did he escape? I'm wondering, too, so he, here's the footage. Let's watch. Here, let me try to, let me try to use the key. I want to get in. I'll infiltrate from the top. Okay. Wait, what about... I can't even get in. At all. Yo, I'm I'm actually trapped in here. Yo, is it night is it night time yet? I can break the bed and see if I can like place it there and try and jump through the wall. <gasps> let's go! I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Coffee. Break the yes! Let's go, let's go! Yes, let's go, let's go! We're out of here! Uh, let's bounce, let's bounce, yo. <sighs> Thank you, Cyrus. Thank you, Adrians. Yo, uh, What's up? so I heard you helped Coffee escape. Wait, I may or may not have had something to do with it, but oh. I won't say anything else. That is a knife yeah. in your hand. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, guess what, buddy? I want to fight you even sooner. What do you know? Once again, Siren putting his nose where it doesn't belong. I was so upset at this point, I demanded the fight be pushed up to later that night. I was ready to fight him. What's, uh, what's going on there? Jetpacks. So he finished making the jetpack. This was the, uh, secret weapon. You know, besides uh, a bunch of explosives that I, I made as well. This was this was it. My, my chance at all the power. My chance to leave my mark in history. It, it was time to fight. And so the pinnacle moment occurs between mayor and weapon shop owner. Who will win? Guess we'll find out. The battle begins in five, four, three, I'm dead. two. I'm going down. Let's go. Whoa! What, what is that, landmines? Oh! Oh my God! Oh. Never. I'm gonna be mayor. You're weak. You're not strong enough for this job. Suck it. This is for the betterment of society, for the citizens of Ugashaka Kingdom. <sighs> Come on, Siren, die already! I will never die! Dude, this rain is Come here! Die! Let's go! Everybody bow down! I am the new mayor of Ugashaka Kingdom. But just as I was celebrating, a tornado swept me away. I cannot believe my luck, but it's it's alright, guys. I somehow made it back to the village, and I celebrated being the new mayor. It was awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the new mayor of Ugashaka Kingdom, Josh. First order of business as your new mayor. Give me a nice Uga Shaka chant. Uga Shaka. That's right, boys. Louder, louder. Uga Shaka. Louder. This kingdom's gonna thrive. Everything was going great. I, I promise I wanted the best for Uga Shaka Kingdom and its citizens. That's why I gave them so many diamonds. I, I wanted us to thrive. And everything seemed like it was. Finally, people seemed like they were done messing with each other. And, and we were ready to act with a one for all and all for one tribe mentality. And until I noticed this happening on the security cameras. Wait, what's that? Is that a T-Rex? Yeah, Adrian's was attempting a coup. He exploded his way through the wall and, and managed to get his T-Rex inside. Yeah, he had a T-Rex. I, I could not believe what I was seeing. No, we're taking charge. Listen up, okay? We're taking charge, okay? We're definitely not leaving you as the leader. Anyone else? Who do you want? Who do you want? Adrian's or me? Come on, we can take him. Right, boys? Come on, let's go. You're with me, right, Coffee? 100%, let's do it. Somehow, though, this was awesome. After everything, the majority still wanted me in power. So we banded together and drove him out of the city. Attack! Let's go! Attack! Get him! Get him! And then I turned around and noticed his tree was on fire. <laughs> yeah, we tried, but there was no saving him. Now, I suppose it was karma. I'm sure you're thinking by what just happened, things were about to get chaotic. But uh, surprisingly, you'd be wrong. Our society had progressed immensely, and with that came many, many growing pains. But a balance of power had finally settled. And, you know, everyone had a chance to rebel and attempt vengeance, but everyone also eventually came to the conclusion that ultimately we're stronger when we work together. You know? No, at this point, we weren't just Uga Shockman, but we were Uga Shaka family. And this was good timing, too, because we, we had one goal left to defeat the Ender Dragon. To the Ender Dragon and beyond! Woo! Uga 
We all ganged up and uh, we went to go find the portal. And after some time traveling, you know, traversing the world, we, we finally found it. I'm about to be Minecraft. Where's the... Oh, it's right here, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Today, we become our highest form. Uga Shaka Kings. Let's go, boys. Defeat the dragon. Let's go. Let's not mess this up. Let's not mess this up. Attack. Oh, I can snipe him. Attack. Attack. I hate it. I hate it. One more. I hate it. Let's go. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Uga Shaka! Uga Uga! Let's go, boys! Tonight we feast! Yes, sir! We're kings. It's been one heck of a journey, and I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anyone else. You kind of suck. That boys. You got boys. Alright, let's do it, boys. We beat Minecraft! Let's go! We be Minecraft. Hey, da, da, da. And we roll the credits. We be Minecraft. Yeah, we do. Let me hit you with a beat. I'm going back in Jurassic time. Yeah. Yeah. Shot. Yeah. Minecraft Shot. winning it. Oh, it's so Ooh. fine. We, we be Minecraft. Hey. We be Minecraft. Yo, we did it. What an insane journey. This, oh, this has been crazy. Boy. All right, boys. We did it, boys. Let's uh, let's go say goodbye to this beautiful yeah. kingdom. Yeah, we've yeah. Take a look at the progress we've made on this Jurassic journey. This was quite the adventure. It was a lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of great memories uh, were made here. Oh, look at the coffee shop, bro. I'm gonna have just so many memories in this place. So much good coffee. Oh, oh, you're <laughs> gonna make me cry. Okay, let's see what else we got. So these huge uh, meat shops. What's up, boys? If you guys ever want a, a large meat, you know, just uh, come my way. Just come back. Gobble it up real quick. Ah, uh, yes. The place in which I was kept prisoner for days. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know this place well, don't you, buddy? Oh, oh yeah, like oh, the back of your well. hand. What do you say we come in here one last time, boys? Eat some cake. Eat some cake. Enjoy it. Er, er, ah! We should go check out that treehouse. Oh, yeah. What? Wait, where's oh. it gone? <laughs> Shots fired. Jesus Seems like just yeah. yesterday I was sniping JPEX when he was up here. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, awesome. JPEX. And you you had all the secret cameras and you were spying yeah. on us. Oh man. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> just for old time's sake, you know boys? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I think I think we should place the egg here. This egg symbolizes the incredible journey each and every single one of us has been through. We've collectively told a story, but also individually, and it's been a beautiful tale. Beautiful. Wow. 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 That's beautiful. The fact that we all were in there together defeating the Ender Dragon like that truly proves that anything's possible. You know, we've, we've had some differences. I've killed JPEX, you know, a few times too many, perhaps. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we did it, boys. Uga Shaka for life. Uga Shaka. Uga Shaka. Uga Shaka. Uga Shaka. Yo, that was so much fun. If you guys want to see more videos like that, make sure you're subscribed and you have those notifications enabled so you know when I post. And also, I'm going to link everyone else's viewpoint in the description. So make sure you go check their perspectives out. I'm Josh and V. I'll see you guys next time. Let's get it, boys. GG's. Psst, hey, yo. Click one of these videos right here. I promise you won't forget it, man. You won't. All right. Peace. Later.